Happy Memorial Day, everybody. We'll be getting the show started in just a second. Appreciate everyone tuning in and watching. Thank you so much. We'll be getting the show started in just a second. On a beautiful day, too, Steve. Yes, sir. Oh, it's, this, is, this is unbelievable. This is unbelievable. Like the dance part? Man, you check like the that dance out. part? I love that. Hey, welcome to the house, this barbecue show. Happy Memorial Day weekend, everybody. So, so glad you decided to join us and uh, we appreciate everything. Uh, kick off to the summer, the, the way to start the weekend, the thankfulness for the, the veterans that served, the veterans that gave their lives for us, Pete. Um, just a good way to start the, start the day. And a, and a beautiful day. And look yeah. at all the folks that are out just enjoying it right now, getting ready to kick off a great Chamber weekend. Of Commerce, Chamber of Commerce Day. We've already had shoppers in the store. We encourage you to come on down to the Allison's Barbecue Store here in Ottawa and pick up just a plethora of things to buy. If you can't find it here, Steve, I don't know if they make it. <laughs> hey, we're brought to you by all the great rub sauces and supplies here at the Allison's Barbecue Store. We're also brought to you by Green Mountain Pellet Grill and Smokers. We stock all the grills plus all the accessories. We are your GMG dealer. Sponsored by Grill Grates. They turn your ordinary grill into an extraordinary grill. And we'll be using them in just a few moments here on the show. And we're brought to you by Budget Blinds, Window Treatments, and Plantation Shutters. You can't beat the service, price, and value at Budget Blinds. Call Sam at 344 seven three nine three three four four seven three nine three budget blinds and don't forget we are the home of dave hooker's chalk talk here every new episode can be heard every tuesday on the al's Just barbecue facebook page the best insight to tennessee football is right here with dave hooker and chalk talk we're we're in touch so we want you to be in touch too follow al's Nest barbecue on facebook instagram and leave your posts and pictures on the Owl's Nest Barbecue Nation. That's where we all get together and um, share our successes, successes on the grill. And learn from each other. Yeah, well, I've never seen anybody share their failures yet. Well, Today may be a first, though. Hey, real quick, real quick. Um, Pete, Pete, this is a neat thing. Birch, this is Birchwood Cares. Um, this is a no-cost health fair. This is going to be June 4th through the 13th. It's a long time. The 4th through the 13th. It's going to be at the Birchwood Community Center, uh, Senator, the Birchwood Community Center on Highway 60. Um, the gates open at seven at each location and they close at two. Uh, they'll have free medical exams, free dental exams, extractions and fillings, and eye exams, single vision prescription eyeglasses available as well. And that's gonna be at the Birchwood Community Center. That's a, that's a big deal. Yeah, it's free, great that free you're doing care. Yeah, free health care. And, and maybe uh, reach out to somebody you know that couldn't get there and help yeah. them get there. And that's going to be at the Birchwood Community Center on Highway 60 starting January the 4th at 7 o'clock in the morning. They're also doing it at uh, Ray, Ray County Middle School in Evansville, Tennessee, up near 
up near um, Monktown, up there in um, Ray County. All right. Today's a big day. Today's a big day. Now, if you remember, two weeks ago, we took these steaks and we wrapped them in the cloth, cheesecloth, and we put them in the back of the refrigerator in my garage, Pete. You remember that, don't you? I do. And um, that's good. I'm going to go ahead and go back to There you go. And we put the um, just the cheesecloth only, nothing else. Yeah, no seasoning, put no them in the nothing. Back. Now, what I want you to do, Pete, you, you saw on the video what the steak looked like. It looked just like a regular New York strip. If you'll, if you'll be nice enough to unwrap those two, just jump right in there. I'm going to run wrap these two. And we, by the way, we have not seen this. No, have not, been... have not seen it. Now, I've had these out of the refrigerator since uh, 7.15 this morning. Now, Pete, I want you to look at, the, look at the richness of the color on that steak. And what we want to do, oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh, my gosh. Look at that. I don't know if you can see that. I'm gonna. I want to get. I'm gonna get that a little closer to the uh, camera here in just a minute. But these are aged New York strips. We've been aged. We dry aged right these wow. in the refrigerator for two weeks. We put them on a riser. Put them in the back of the refrigerator. You want to put them somewhere where there's very little action. You know the. Yeah, where the door doesn't where the open door a lot. The door's not being opened a lot. And uh, if you've got a uh, garage fridge like most people do nowadays, you will. Uh, that's the best place to put it. Look at these things. They look almost. Feel right. Feel, Pete, feel there. You can feel the. Yeah. You, yes, you can almost feel the funk starting. If we can get those, peel those little bits of cheesecloth off. I'm going to take this over to the camera. And Emma, my daughter, Emma, who's directing the show today for us, we appreciate her getting up on her Saturday. And Emma, that, how does that look? It looks like a string from the cloth got up yeah. the corner. Okay, but yeah. how's that, how's that, that look? That looks good That's right okay. there, Steve. Is that okay? All right. Yeah. All right. You can see how deep and rich the redness is compared to a regular steak. The, there is a... Uh, Oh, I forget what they call that. The same stuff that we put on the, uh, Pete, the same stuff that got on the uh, cured bacon, cured the bacon, pork belly, yeah. that, that, that thick thing that's called, called, I can't remember that. But this, these things, now this is before, there's no, there's no funk on it. Funk, I mean, there's no um, um, uh, mold. It's, it's pre-mold, so we didn't leave them in there that long. And I know what you're thinking, yeah, they can't be good or they can't be healthy. It is. There's nothing wrong with these things. They're, it's the way they look and they get, they get dried out. They look dried out. But Pete, we're going to put these on the grill. And what we're going to do, we take them out there. I want you to, I want you to carry them out there. We're going to, we're going to put them, we got, I've got the grill set at about, oh gosh, let me look real quick. Pete, I've got the grill set at four. 480. 480. Uh-huh. And I've got the um, I've got the elevated shelf in the Green Mountain Grill. And what I thought we would do is put these up on the elevated shelf first and get them cooked up to about 110, 115 degrees, and then move them down and finish them on the grill grates. The grill grates where it's real hot. And gotcha. uh I think that's uh, a good plan. I think I think that'll work. Let me get some uh, real quick. Let me get some uh, butter just real quick. I forgot to bring it out. You know, when, you know, Pete. When I'm I'm doing these things, I always forget. I always forget something. And we're going to use David Bosca's grilling oil butter flavor. This stuff is so good. It's shelf stable. You don't have to refrigerate it. And um, we sell it here. It's only eight. eight I think it's eight ninety five. It's not very expensive. Uh, it's great to put on steaks. Let's put just we're just gonna put just a little bit on there. Hey, if we put that one on that one for us. Yeah, I put some yeah. of this on some vegetables the yeah. too, Steve, and it was really good. Stuff's good. I'm yeah. gonna we're gonna we're gonna do is just use this as a binder. That's and that's all we're gonna do. That's all we're gonna do. And I've got some uh, butcher barbecue 
uh, grilling addiction. That's the steak and brisket rub. Here's the grilling addiction. That's what we're going to put on that. I don't, I don't want to put a lot on there because I want the, I want the stay, uh, the taste of the meat, to really be the star. So we're just going, to just dabble a little bit, a little bit on there. Just dabble, just a test, a touch, not not a whole lot. There you go. Put those on those other two, and um, I want just to be able to. I, I just want that that seasoning to kind of um, just you know just kiss that meat. I don't want to put it on there real heavy. All right. If you would do the honors, Pete, grab that, and we're gonna go to the grill. Emma, if you'll be kind enough to when we get out there to switch. Switch to the grill scene. We sure appreciate it. Yeah, just put your, put those down right there. I'm going to get, Pete, I'm going to get just a little bit of, um, come, on in, come on in the picture here. I'm going to put just a little bit of Pam on here uh, so they don't stick to that right. uh, upper thing. Let me show you what we're talking about. Please. I believe we can. I believe. I believe Emma can get a shot inside there. Here's the. As you can tell, it's hot. It's hot. It's there. hot. There's the upper shelf I was talking about, and here's the grill that we're going to use to sear them off. Um, there's lots of different ways to do this. There was a great article in the paper on Wednesday by Stephen Reichland uh, on how to grill a steak, and he was doing it. He was talking about it. Um, Pete, if you'll do the honors put those on the top shelf he was talking about doing a steak when um, uh, you do it you cook it kind of slow at first and then uh, you pull it off at about 110 degrees then you put it back on there and sear it so what we're doing is we're kind of doing a, a hybrid of that uh, it's gonna be pretty hot up there on that upper deck oh, but it's not gonna be as hot as it is on the lower deck all so, right there we go there you go I think Emma's, I think Emma's got a pretty good picture there Pete of those um, those steaks there. Go ahead and pull that lid down. All right, and we're going to get it to 110. Yeah, yeah. We got I got the thermometer here 110. Now what we did, we took those New York strips. I went over to Publix and I had Chris, no, I think Dean cut them up for me. I had Dean cut about two inches thick. Okay, and we took them home. We wrapped them in three layers of gauze. Put three layers of gauze or cheesecloth. I keep saying gauze. I don't know why it's, it's cheesecloth. And we put them in the back of the refrigerator on a little riser so some air would circulate all around them. And we just let them sit in there. Didn't do anything to it. And you saw how hard they got, how red and the richness was just. It was amazing. It, it's incredible uh, that, that that slimy stuff got on it. I need, I need to remember the name of that. I hate that. I can't remember the name <laughs> of that stuff. And uh, we had them in there for two weeks. There's no uh, mold on them or the, what I call the funk. It's pre-funk. If you leave them in there a long time, and you can, Pete, you can leave them, you can put them in that fridge and leave them in there as long as you want. Uh, they'll get mold on it. You just got to cut that mold off. I'm not a fan of that. But, um, I mean. Hey, I mean, some people like that. And they're, yeah. you know, when you, and some people age longer than other, depending on mm -hmm. what you want. Yeah. But this is going to be a great test right here to oh, see I how think, they come out. I think it's going to be fantastic. Hey, um, again, thanks for joining us here Memorial Day weekend. Here at the Owls Nest Barbecue uh, Supply Store, I'm Steve. That's Pete. Uh, we're here every Saturday morning to help you. Uh, we'll be here. I'll be here until about 1:30. Uh, we've got the Green Mountain Grills on sale right now. For every Green Mountain Grill you buy, you get a free bag of pellets. You get a free jar of rub. Uh, would love to see you. If, if you got an old grill, there's still plenty of time between now and Monday to learn how to use it. It's not hard. And uh, Pete's got one. He, 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 it's, oh, it's I got a, one. Yeah. If I can, if I can use it, Pete can use it. You can use it. I guarantee you. Uh, it makes it takes the work out of it, doesn't Pete? Oh, and, and and by the way, you can always go back and look at the video where we tore one completely yep. down, put it back, mm -hmm. showed it. Yes, it's easy and nothing better than a Green Mountain yeah, Grill. It, it, it starts up easy. You get that. I like the flavor that it gives you. It, you know, you're using uh, real wood pellets, and uh, it gives you a flavor that's just. It's it's better than a gas grill. I'm oh. not saying I'm not saying gas grills are bad. Not at all. I use a gas grill a lot still. It's still a, it's still a good tool to use. But man, these pellet grills they just they just do it different. It's amazing what you can do with them. Again, I've learned so much. I thought at one time pellet grills you couldn't do things with them. 
you can do more than you can ever imagine. Yeah, uh, you can smoke with them, you can grill with them. Right now, we're using it as a grill. Um, during the weekend, we'll crank them up, we'll use them as a smoker, and we'll do some pork butts for the neighborhood. So, um, cook lot, pizzas. Uh, yeah, you can buy the pizza in, sir. I forgot about that. That's probably the most fun thing that there is. It's doing, amazing. Doing pizzas on the Green Mountain Grill. Uh, it, it's a great time. Uh, but here we got those at the store. We got a, we've got a, the best selection ever of rubs and sauces that I've ever had here. I've stocked up. We have spent a lot of money on inventory. We're busting at the seams just because we want to give you a good choice. Everybody that comes in, Pete says, I've never seen this many different items here in a store anywhere. And, and I can understand that. And you know, Steve, you got every kind of pellet, right? You got peach, you got apple, you got you know, pecan, you got all kind of pellets and you yeah. got blends. I mean, there's everything you could ever want here to try to get up. You got some Jack Daniels, right? Uh, I love those. Uh, I mean, made out of Jack Daniels barrels. I love them. And, and you know, Steve, let's not forget the people that don't use them. You got charcoal, right? Mm -hmm. Look at all the different charcoal. You Royal got Oak. Here. We got Royal Oak charcoal brand. We got Blues Hog charcoal brand. Uh, we've got the chunks, um, the lump rather. Uh, we've even got those uh, those logs. If you haven't seen them yet, uh, Blues Hog makes a, a charcoal log. It's super, super heat. If you're grilling and you want some high temperatures, in a long-lasting uh, charcoal. Those logs are fantastic. I don't know if you've used them yet, Pete, but I, they are, I have. They're, they're I, sharp, they're cool. They're really cool. All right, let's go back here. So go ahead and lift that up, Pete, and then we'll get a shot of those. Oh, oh yeah. they're look, looking good, look, aren't they? Look. Get, that, uh, get that thermometer here and just kind of poke them, see how they're doing. We got uh, 62. Okay. So they're cooking pretty good. Are they lightening up? Are they, are they loosening up? Oh yeah, 67, 62. So they're cooking pretty even there, Steve. Let me see if I can get a this little one bit. On the end is uh, about 20 degrees different. It's only about 45 to the one on the end. You know what, Steve? Boy, those, they're looking so good. I think I'm gonna just move them over just a little because okay. the one on this end right here is not getting near as yep. much heat. Okay. So let's move it over a little, try to get some more heat on there. Those things are looking Fantastic. Kind of Emma. Dripping down Emma, how's that bit? picture look? Does that look good? Emma's giving it the big thumbs up. Our director, Emma Ray, helping us today, and we sure appreciate her. We can even get in there just a little bit tighter on those. Look at those two inch New York strip, 12, 14 day aged in the refrigerator steaks that we got at Publix. Uh, special cut. And uh, man, these things, are, you can't help but think, Pete how good those things are going to look. They look good. Let's think how good they're going to taste. All right, let's close her back down. How's that picture? Still look good there, Emma? All right. Now that, um, what we're going to do, we're going to take those up to about 110 degrees, and then we're going to drop them on the bottom and finish them off on the uh, grill grates. Or we're going to sear them, put some nice grill marks on them, and then we're going to take them inside, Pete, and then we're going to cut them and show everybody how juicy these things are and how good they're going to look. We're going to taste them too, right? Uh, oh yeah, we're going to taste them. <laughs> now that's all, that's all supposed. I mean, that's the way it's supposed to work. This is live. So uh, we're counting on those steaks not letting us down. So you might, you may, you may be tuned in to see one of the greatest uh, steak videos ever made, or you may tune, be tuned in to see one of the greatest fails ever done on live internet Facebook But we're pages. having fun while we're doing Exactly it. right, but that's the thing we're wanting. We want to stress most we're having a good time on Memorial Day weekend. We're keeping in mind the reason for this observation of the holiday, but it's a good, it's still a good weekend to share in fellowship with your friends. I know Pete and I uh, and our friend Frank back in the neighborhood, we've got a big Memorial Day party planned right now where we're going to be doing a whole hog. We'll be doing some videos of that whole hog and uh, we're going to put it on about uh, nine o'clock Sunday night and cook it all night. We're going to eat that thing. Uh, the neighborhood's going to eat it all. At, uh, start at noon on, on Monday. We're going to feed 150 people yeah, and we have gotta, a good time. Yeah, we're going to have a bunch of people there. And um, and we and if you got something like that going on, I want to re remind everybody to come on down to the Alice Disc Barbecue Supply today and get your, get your uh, try some different rubs. You know, you can't get these rubs at Publix. You can't get them at, at Food City or Walmart. 
these are these are specialty rubs. They're made by the, the best barbecue people in the country. We got Malcolm Reed, Heath Riles, David Bosca, Matt Pittman, um, golly, Mike Davis is in there. Uh, Myron Mixon, we got all of Myron's rubs in there. And I know I'm leaving out Uncle Uncle Steve's, with no relation to me, Uncle Steve's line of rubs are in there. We've got uh, 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 Jim Elzer's uh, uh, for out of Florida, he's in there. We've got, um, oh, the guy out of Texas. What's that one in Texas, Pete? Oh, gosh, well, let me go find it. I don't want to leave him out because uh, everybody... Steve, you suckle got them busters, all. Suckle busters. Suckle busters there is what go. I was trying to think of. I couldn't couldn't think of but, it. But this, you got so many. Pick and choose. Yeah. Get anybody's you want or get all of everybody's if you want. If, you have, if you're looking for sauce, Malcolm Reeves, we have his sauce in there. Um, the vinegar and the sweet sauce. If you mix those two, folks... One of the greatest combinations. We got Blues Hog. Uh, we've got the Blues Hog Tennessee Red, the Blues Hog Original. We also have the Champions Blend already blended. We we stock those in stock, and I know a lot of people have been buying them on the internet. And they go online and buy these things, yeah. but um, but we've got them in stock. You don't have to you don't have to wait for the mail. Plus, they're cheaper than what you do when you buy them on the on the internet because they're cheaper. By price and you no pay shipping. shipping. That's right. So you can get them here, and you can if you got any questions, uh, we're here to. Um, Pete was, you you and that guy that came in here earlier were really, uh, y'all were really talking it up. When yeah. He was looking I'll, at the Craig Sherry's, uh, all the uh, different uh, glazes that yeah. we've got. Well, you know, he came in. So a father, a son, and the son's son uh -huh. came in, right? So three generations of people, pretty much, right? Came in today, and they all they wanted to talk about was barbecue, and the grandfather was basically saying, "Get what you want." He goes, but this is what I want. Yeah. And so he started grabbing, the yeah, other son yeah, started yeah. grabbing, the other son. So they were having a blast and they were just, they're gonna do a brisket today. Yeah, I heard him say that. They're gonna do a brisket. So they're, you know, getting together as a family, which is what this is all about, family, friends, getting together, having a good time, enjoying it. There's no bad barbecue day. No. You're talking about sometimes people make a mistake, but you know what, that's part of it. Emma, if you will, go to the grill shot and we're gonna get Pete to open that up. Let's check those things. Pete, let's see how they're doing. I want to go ahead and make this a handheld deal. Oh, wow, they're looking good. Look at that. How are we looking back here? About 77. Okay, we got a long way to go. 82. Oh, we got 104 on the back. Of that. Yeah, that's how we have to keep an eye on that one. But that's what they call cooking, folks. That's why we use thermometers. 82. I know it's hot in there. 84. But they're starting to get tender, aren't they, Pete? Yeah, they are. That one's still way down and it's like 50. Well, that's, a, well, that's okay. We can... Uh, Tell you what we're going to do. Yeah, we This move. one was the one that had a little heat in it, right? That one right no, there. No, this one. Yeah. Let's move it over to the slower there side. There you go. Move that move down. This one back down here. You might want to even pull that uh, shelf out a little bit, Pete. Pull it this way. Yeah, there you go. Get it there and get it. Yeah, bring it out a little bit more. Yeah, put that in the sunshine. We can get a real good picture. Really good look picture at that. Look right at there. that. Oh What's my gosh. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Look at that. That fat is starting to render. I saw it. I saw it dripping down on the grill. Yeah. From that one, Pete. Those things are looking fantastic. They are looking fantastic. Look at the colors of that fat. It's amazing the colors in there. If you just look at them. Yeah. Boy, I tell you what, they are. Move that one in just a little bit. I don't know if you can see them dripping. Ah. Sometimes you can see things on the camera better than you can by the eye. Right here, this one you can see is dripping right in here. Good. Yeah. Well, they are they are looking fantastic. What we're doing, we are we're kind of we're kind of. Gosh, Pete, I don't know. We're kind of baking them, I guess. First. Yeah. Well, you know, when you pull these out, they're really firm, and so now you're just kind of. Getting them in there and they're getting well, warm. I didn't Are they starting to? Were they starting to loosen up oh, a little yeah, bit? Oh yeah, they're starting to loosen up and Get the juice is getting in yeah, there. Yeah. And so they're gonna be good, Steve. If you just joined us, we're cooking the 14-day aged steaks that Pete and I did in the refrigerator at my house. In the garage refrigerator, we wrapped, wrapped them in three layers of, of uh, cheesecloth, put them back there, uh, just left them alone. Didn't didn't touch them, didn't turn them. Uh, only thing I looked at them three times during the whole 14-day process. We've been busy with this party. We're getting together and all kinds of stuff going on. And um, we're cooking them now. We're cooking at 480 degrees 
and uh, we're kind of doing a, uh, a hybrid cook. We're cooking them off the off the hot surface and in, in just like the middle of the smoke or letting it act like an oven. And then when we get up to about 110, 115 degrees, somewhere around there, we're gonna put them on the grill grates and we're gonna finish them off. Sear them up. Sear them up and uh, put the, the flavor marks on them that you can only get on grill grates. And um, let, me get, let me get a grill grate yeah. real quick, Pete. I'm gonna show everyone what we're talking about. A lot of people don't know what in the world we're talking about when we talk about grill grates. We have, we have these things in all different sizes for all kinds of applications. We have them that fit uh, the Green Mountain Grills. This is all it is. It's right there. It's a piece of aluminum. It's ridged. It's got holes in it. And it works. These things, this thing, this aluminum gets hot and it, obviously it cooks up here. The juices will drip down in here. But, you know, like on a grill, you get flare up. You don't get right. a flare up on these. And they will, these will put those uh, flavor stripes on your, on your meat. It looks great. Uh, the presentation is there. And what's nice about these things, if you don't have a griddle, you do now. There you, you, go. you just turn that thing over just like so on your grill. Get it super hot. Smash burgers. If you want to get a, a real big uh, caramelization on a steak, if you don't want to get the, if you don't want the flavor stripes, you want the whole thing to be seared off, you can use it right there. Uh, heck, you could even do pancakes on this thing. So these things, they connect, right, Steve? So yeah. mm -hmm. you can add as many as you want or yeah, as little as yeah. you want, yeah. right? There's a, there's a little guide here and you, they go right in there. And you can make them long, you can make them short. Like you could use just this one if you had a small grill and you just wanted to do hamburgers, just line them up, 13 bucks. That's all it is. So they're not, they're not expensive at all. And, and uh, we've got them to fit the Kamados, uh, all kinds of grill applications. Uh, it, seriously, if, if, if you're looking for something to set your food apart on your grill, and even if it's a gas grill, I'm talking about even if it's a, uh, a, a Weber kettle, this, this, the grill grates will set those apart. And I love them. I remember the first time I used them, I couldn't believe how good the steak looked. I couldn't believe I had done that. Yeah, put the steak on there, let it sit for about three minutes, picked it up and turned it, put it back down. I couldn't believe that I, I that I made a steak look that good. What I think about is those pork steaks that we did. Oh gosh. And, well, they and were beautiful. how beautiful they were. They were beautiful. Oh. You can check that out. You can go to our, our YouTube channel, Al's Nest Barbecue on YouTube. All of our uh, videos are uploaded there. We Pete and I did some uh, pork steaks. That's about what, two months ago? Yeah. And uh, I had never had pork steak. Uh, Pete, Pete was the expert on the pork steaks, and we cooked those on the grill grates, and they were, man, they were they, fantastic. They turned out really good. Let's stick it over there, Pete. All right. And we'll go to the grill shot. We're going to check them out again. Oh, they're starting to sizzle. I'm hearing sizzle, Pete. I don't know if you can hear that. 100. There's 100. That's way up there. That's 130 now. 130, okay, we'll need to move it. Check that other one. Same thing, temperatures are way up. On All there. right, well, that's good. All right, let's get this them down. One, that's the one that was the lowest. It's 80 something. Yep, all of those three, all but the one are way up there. In all right, let's push those. Uh, Tell you what we want to do. We yeah. Want to put these down here? Yeah, right there, buddy. Absolutely. Oh, listen to that, listen to that sizzle. Here still yeah, to get up. Yeah, yeah, just push that shelf back where you got a little room to work too. There you go. Spread those steaks out if you want to, Pete. Got plenty of room. Yeah. Oh, did you did you hear that? Did you hear that? Yeah. Oh, these things are these things are gonna be so delicious. These things are gonna be so so delicious. Emma's that shot look good? Our director, Emma Ray, says it looks looking good. Pete, if you would, get those tongs and just press down on the tops of those steaks. I don't know how well you're going to be able to see the grill grate marks. Yeah, as dark as it is. Yeah. These things are looking so good. What do you think? 
I'd say bring that one, bring that one on top. Go ahead and bring it down. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, just bring it down. Just move over a little bit. There you go. Let me see that the moment. I'm just curious to see the texture of it. There's something happening inside them. They're starting to feel good. Okay, Steve, what's the ultimate temperature that we want to cook these to? Oh, man, I'm thinking 135, 140. Why don't you turn those just a little bit? Yeah, let's get a little hatch mark on it. I don't know how well you're going to be able to see it. But those things are looking good. Two-inch New York strip. Cut at Publix by our buddy Dean over there. You know, those guys at Publix, they are so, you know, they're so good to us. So good to all the fake, all the customers, yeah, so good to the neighborhood. Good to everybody. They, uh, they do a great job. We're, you know, we're lucky. We've got, we've got Publix here, Noodle Wall. We've got Food City. Mickey and his gang do a great job in the meat department. The guys over at Walmart, uh, for what they do, you know, they're not butchers, but they, they keep that thing as stocked as, as best they can, especially in these trying times. Go ahead and flip those That's things. I'm thinking, let's see what they yeah, look like. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, it didn't take much on there. But look at that. Look at that sizzle, though. Look at that. Oh, those look good. They still look good. Hit that with the thermometer. Let's see how we're looking there, Pete. Those are, that's up at 150, Steve. 150? Yeah. All right. Try that one. Down. This one's only about 80. 80. What is it? No, here we go. 124. Yeah, right. that's looking good. 140. 140. Okay, that's good. 135. 35. All right, let's pull. This one. Is let's pull him off. And just put him on the board. And we'll rest it. Boy, if you can just bring that board over here, Pete. Let's let people get a good. Bring it over here in the light. We'll let get people get a good look at that thing. What's nice about having that table right there? Yeah. On the Green Mountain Grill. Emma, how's that shot look? It look good. Well, it's nice having a director in there, isn't there? We don't oh. have to guess. Emma does such a good job. Look at the color. The color on these things. Go ahead and pull that one off, Pete. Pull at these things. They'll they'll cook a little bit. They will cook just a little bit. Yeah. Uh, look, at that. look at that. Oh yeah. Look at that. Look at that. All right. That is looking some kind of good. I can't wait to try these. Wouldn't it be funny if they didn't taste any good? <laughs> Steve, don't talk. They got to they gotta taste good, though, don't they? They've got to taste good. All right. All right. If you'll bring those in, Pete. Let me set this down. Steve, we're going to turn this down a little mm -hmm. bit. Yeah, I'll turn it down. Go ahead. Turn down that grill mount, green mountain. So easy to do. Look at those, Emma. Go back to the inside. Oh my goodness. I'll wash my, I'll wash my hands there, Steve. Look at that. Look at that. They look so good. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, man. They're looking so, so good. 14 day aged. I'm going to bring those right down to there. How's that look, Emma? A good picture. Come on back a little bit toward you, Steve. Perfect, right there. All that right. is beautiful. Look at the caramelization down there. That fat was starting to render. That is a beautiful, beautiful steak. Pete, I'm going to ask you to do the uh, honors. There's your knife right there. Let's move these out of the way and let's cut right into that one right there. 
Which one you want to cut into? Let's cut into this one right here. That looks the, that looks the best to me. You can stack that thing right. Just stack it right up on it. Look at that. That is a stack of meat. That is a stack of meat there. Um, All right. Where do we want to cut in here, Steve? You just want to right, slice yeah, right. it down there. Raise up the camera a little. It's, uh, okay, that's good. There. How's that, huh? Yeah. You coming back? That's still into the fat. Look at that. Look at oh, that. Look at look the at that. juice. Look in at there. the juice in that thing. Okay, uh, uh, yeah. Is that good? Mm -hmm. All right, thank you. Pull, turn that around, Pete, so we can see inside there. Look at that. Okay, now let's pull it up a little to the camera. That's perfect. Yeah. That's perfect medium. That is perfect medium right there. It's a slice. We it may, right. we may have just maybe hit that overdone just a little bit for my taste, but a lot of people like it just like that. Yeah, I think if you look, it's the, it's really, I think it's, it's a good, it's a good, it's a good medium. You're right. Most people like it medium. I'm a, I'm a kind of a pass it over the big lighter one time and it's good enough for me. But look, look how, exactly. look how juicy they are. That's what I'm, look, look at the juice. Now these things were, these things were brick hard, Pete. They were. Oh my. That crust on the outside and then the tenderness on the inside. Let's just look at it when you're slicing through right there. There's no rule that says you can't put a little bit of grilling addiction after you cut a steak. Give it a little bit of flavor. Good picture right there too, Steve. Good picture. Oh my goodness. Look at this. You yeah. See that just pulling apart? I right pulled apart like a brisket. Um, I know you're gonna have to do another piece. It's Dad didn't get the shot of it pulling apart. It was just about the camera shot. Yeah. How's that? There Look at that. Go. What about that? It's amazing how juicy this is. How's that, Emma? That look good? Mm -hmm. That is. 14-day aged New York strip. Very, very good. Pete, I love, I love the way the outside has got that, that caramelization on it and the inside is so tender. So Steve, it didn't turn out to be bad. <laughs> no, it didn't. Uh, no, not at all. God, it's good. That is just plain good. I highly recommend that people give this a try, especially with we, your we favorite get, steak. Yeah, let me get just a little bit of just a little bit of regular salt on there. I think we can improve this thing. Steve's now getting it, getting a little the flavors in there. Not that it does, not that it needs improvement. But I believe we can add a layer of add a layer of flavor to this thing. That so would, talk about the flavor, Steve. Even. Even just like it is, you're adding a little salt, but the flavor is very, very, very well. Good. It's a, um, it's a, um, it's kind of a. I don't want to say it, Pete. It's the the outside, the outside of the steak is almost, it's almost crusty like it's got like a bark on it, which you usually don't get on a steak. But then the inside is so juicy and tender. Oh. And see, you, you know, people, salt. you don't put no sauce, no nothing. You know, this is just one of those steaks you eat just as mm -hmm. is. Oh, that, that stuff is righteous. Look at, look at the juices on that thing. Look at the juice. Let's get another one.
Yeah, they sat there and cooked. We probably we probably overcooked these just a tad, but I mean we didn't we didn't miss it by much. Mm -hmm. I don't think anybody would send that back, do you, Pete? Mm -hmm. Just a little pink in the middle. I wouldn't complain about it. I think a lot of people would just say, you know what, that's just perfect, Steve. Like I like it. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. So you got a medium. You got a little medium. Mm -hmm. uh, medium. A little bit so again some people like it so you got it kind of for different tastes different side i imagine we cut into these other ones and those are fantastic and everybody i know what everybody's thinking he wasn't even giving emma any emma won't eat steak <laughs> just occasionally she will emma you want a little piece no thanks okay no, okay she had breakfast you have your breakfast already that thing. Oh man, that one's even better than that one because it rested. It's rested a little bit more. You're right. Got a, that yeah. has a tremendous flavor. Still just as juicy. Well, you can do this at home. Get a two-inch cut, and I, you know it doesn't have to be two inches. I just like I just like a big thick steak. New York strip works best, I think. I've never done anything else, but I guess you could do a ribeye. Filet, you want to try it? What the heck, try it. Put three layers of cheesecloth around it. Three layers. Cut it, put it in the back of your refrigerator, put it on a, put it on like a metal riser, and um, just let it sit back there for about 14 days. I've done them, this is the longest I've ever done one. Usually I did mine seven days. They were still delicious, but this is, this is even better. And um, we cooked it kind of like a reverse sear, kind of like a hybrid reverse sear, not a not a real reverse sear, but kind of like a hybrid. It's got a bark on it. And that bark is unbelievable. That taste. Tender is so moist. It's so soft. You know when you were Feeling it and checking the temperature and looking at it, you kind of thought, well, "Man, I'm a little worried. This might be, might be tough, not tender." Mm -hmm. and then when you cut into it, just so tender, so juicy. Yeah, it's hard to get through the outside of it, but that is, man, I tell you, Pete, I'm gonna tell you something now. That is some excellent steak right there. Everybody have a great Memorial Day. Hey, Appreciate come on out to Owl's Nest Barbecue. Yeah. It's a great opportunity, especially for this weekend, to come out, get you a grill, get you some seasoning, get some, come out and talk. Get you some pellets. I'll tell you, it's great just watching the hey, families come in here, Steve. If you're a steak ager and you got some tips, bring them on. We're always, uh, always like to learn. One thing I've always believed about education, it should remain unfinished. There you go. You have, a good, you have a good Memorial Day. You too, Steve. And you too, Emma. You too. Emma, thanks for the great direction. And we'll see you here next Saturday. I don't know what we got up our sleeve. We may do a whole hog recap. We may have some good whole hog video and do a whole hog recap. Those are, those are always a lot of fun. But everybody, thank you. Thanks for watching. Thanks for joining us. Um, remember Memorial Day. Thank those who served. Uh, pray for those that perished and uh, enjoy your friends and your relatives in your own neighborhoods and your family. This is Steve Ray for Pete Branton. We'll see you next Saturday right here on the Owl's Nest Barbecue Show. Play the flag, Emma. <laughs>